welcome to the channel everybody so we all know there's a huge everything this month um but that being said i wanted to make, cover a few important tips some just a slight quality of life ones some that are gonna make a huge difference on getting the most out of this month i'm going to start with the one that is just kind of an annoyance at this point but it really is one of those things that especially for those of us who uh really just hate seeing all those notifications up there um that once i figured out how to do it uh i definitely wanted to make sure everybody knew so as you can see here and as most of you if you haven't figured this out are probably quite dealing with the whole it constantly says I have tons of new champions um, which is something that has happened since they dropped the ascension materials and made it so that we could start ascending champions so what it is is it's showing out off all of your maxed out champions now in order to get that to go away this is stupid but it does actually work as you can see here i have 25 of them showing right now if i go in here to my champions click over to my relics click back to my champions and go back i no longer am showing 25 new champions i know it seems just relatively stupid but at the same time for those of you who hate constantly seeing that and want to make sure that only what's showing is when you do open a new champion so that, uh, so that that's aware, that is how that you can do that. Next, I want to talk about a new item that has been introduced to the game. Well, actually two new items that have been introduced to the game. So, in spite the fact that we do not see them in the shop, I'm going to go ahead and go in here to war to show the item I'm speaking of. So the item I want to talk about here is the new full energy refills for, uh, for war and for alliance quest. These are going to be huge over the rest uh, over the next part of this month. Um, normally you get, get the, uh, one that you can get for glory or loyalty depending on respectively which mode you're in but now we also have the additional 60 unit full energy which is going to be huge because if you're pressed for time and you cannot possibly log in multiple times a day but you are wanting to make sure that you're taking down as many champions as possible in alliance quest and alliance war to make sure that you are getting everything in for points wise not only for your own personal self but to participate as much as you can in the alliance keep in mind guys these are really not that bad of a value even at 60 units a piece we of course did get a free one in game through the mail as well obviously you can see i haven't used the alliance quest ones because alliance quest was not live at the point in time that this all came out so this is going to be extremely important and you do want to make sure that you are taking advantage of these especially if it's one of those days where you're going to be limited on how much you can log in these are going to be invaluable for you to make sure that you're getting through your full pass on both war and alliance quest to benefit yourself and your alliance fully guys don't slack off this is going to be one of the biggest months there is, and it's just going to continue to ramp up over the next several months with everything else that's coming out. Don't let this slip by. It is extremely important that you make sure that you are doing your part for the alliances. I've talked about this repeatedly over the last several months. I talked about it on stream yesterday when I went live. Make sure that you are doing your part, and if you're not, do plan that this will be the time period that alliances start kicking people so things like this can make a huge difference the next thing i want to talk about 
is the fact that everybody, it, it, the notifications for the champions that we cleared earlier, talking uh, for what champions can be ascended. Um, the notifications make it look like the only champions in your roster that can be ascended would be the ones that you already have at max level. Now, when Kabam announced Ascensions was going to go live, they showed us a chart showing what e each rank level would be equivalent to when you pushed up a champion. Obviously, you can see on this account, I have seven champions that are fully maxed out right now, but I have several five stars that are not. I am going to show you, in spite of the fact of the resources used, that it does not have to be a maxed out champion to be able to ascend them. You can see here, I have Wolverine Weapon X on this account as a 5 star, and I only have him at rank 2 right now. But if I come over here, I still have the ascension, Ascending op, uh, option, and... If I click this, I can ascend Wolverine even without him being fully ranked up. Do not let yourself get deceived that the only way that you can ascend a champion is if they are fully maxed out already. Don't shy away from the idea of ranking up those champions whatsoever. Obviously, it's a huge benefit to have them so, but... It does not mean that you have to have them in that particular spot to worry about ascending them. If you do not, ha if there is a champion such as Quake, Magic, whoever that you have chosen that you want to ascend, that is not fully maxed out, that does not mean that you cannot do so and that you cannot still get the rewards for, or that you cannot still get the benefits from pushing up that champion to make content easier for you this is extremely frustrating when i see people talking about that only one or only maxed out champions can be ascended no this is not true keep this in mind especially when you get that six star ascension materials that you can ascend a champion even if they aren't fully maxed out. Even if you don't have all your rank up materials, but you want to ascend a Cosmic Ghost Rider, a Nick Fury, whoever it is, you know, Hercules, whoever it is that you want to push, but you're not at the level currently that you can go ahead and obtain all those materials, this is an opportunity to push that champion up higher to give you the opportunity to push for that next progression title these are going to be extremely important the other thing that i want to remind everybody is that you are uh, the biggest thing going on right now is making sure that you are doing the gifting tickets back and forth i want to remind everybody this is something that we talk about every year when the banquet event gifting event whatever comes around um even the uh New Year's celebration where you're able to send tickets back, uh, the red tickets back and envelopes, tickets, whatever they are, back and forth between your alliance mates and other people in the game. Be careful who you're sending them to. Do not spend your time in global chat saying, hey, I'll send you this if you send me that. There will be people that will work with you and do so and make sure that you get what you send back. But every year, every time one of these events come around, somebody gets upset because they sent their in and then they never got anything back. Be really careful about this. Only send to people that you trust and that you are able to assure are going to return it back to you. That being said, as well, as an alliance leader, I try and get as many out as possible to different people within the alliance. Sometimes I cannot get as many out as I receive. 
because of the fact that there are 30 people in my alliance, 29 other than myself, and you only get so many of these tickets that you can send. So, communicate as much as possible. I tr I've always tried in certain ones of these events, especially like the red envelopes for the New Year uh, New Year celebration. What I'll normally do is I just go down the line in my alliance and make sure that as many people get one as possible. Not expecting that everybody's going to send me one back, but I normally get more than I receive. But if you want to assure that you get a one for one, do it with your alliance mates. Get online chat, discord, whatever it is that your alliance uses and do it that way. Lastly, this one is slightly an in-game tip, but it is also a life tip. Guys, there is a lot of stuff going on right now. There is a lot of benefits going on. Do everything you can to be your best. Make sure that you are participating in everything. Make sure that you are doing your part. Make sure that you are just being the best that you can, okay? You don't have to be the best at everything by any means, but don't be the worst. Don't be that guy that doesn't do his part or gal that doesn't do her part and then whines because they didn't get rewards. Don't be that person that tries to scam others into getting extra stuff by send me tickets and, and I'll send you back and then not do it. Be what you want in this life. Be who you want in this life. And make sure everybody is getting the best. We have an amazing community here. We always have. And I just want to see everybody succeed. Everybody excel. Not only in the game, but in life. And this is a tip that not only is relevant in the game, but again, is relevant to everything else going on. There's no reason to be anything less than great to one another especially in the mcoc community there are so many amazing people here find people you can trust find an active alliance that allows you to earn as much as possible and just go ahead guys and do what you can and make sure you do your part yes sometimes you're going to die on your path sometimes you're going to get more tickets than what you can send back out things like this but always make sure that you're making it clear what you're doing and always do as best as you can. If you die, you die. It's not a big deal, guys. Sometimes we go down because we're not as strong as we need to be. But it's at the same time, there's absolutely no reason why you can't put your all in. Don't be that guy or girl that's sitting at the start of AQ or the start of Alliance War and watch it everybody else do all their work. Make sure that you are doing your part. Enough preaching by far, but these are a few tips I wanted to make sure that I shared with the community because these, this next month alone is going to be huge. You want to get as many of these rewards as possible. You want to make sure that you get all those resources Keep pushing, keep grinding, ascend the champions that make the most sense for you, push what you can, and just be a great, guys. Also, on top of that, don't rush to ascend a champion. Just because it's the champion you have, sometimes that's great, but sometimes maybe just hold on to the materials until you get the champion you actually want to ascend. I normally don't recommend the idea of holding on to things when you could do... The champions you have as far as ranking up or awakening champions because you never know how long you're gonna it's gonna take to get them and you could be holding yourself back but with ascension materials they are so limited right now that you want to make sure that you are using them on a champion that is going to value you the most so that one i will say hold off on do what you can guys and just be happy because this is an amazing month and the rewards are there. If you do your part and you're in an alliance that's doing their part, 
no reason that you cannot have an amazing month that grows your roster overwhelmingly. So guys, have a great time. Be great to one another. And just enjoy it. This is a game. It is important to our lives. But at the same time, don't make it any worse than it has to be. And I will see you guys back soon for another video. Peace out.